Do you want to see an APRS superpower? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Telemetry is one of the superpowers of APRS. With telemetry, we can monitor all sorts of things and report that data into the APRS system. So exactly what can we monitor? Well, we could monitor things like temperature, barometric pressure, humidity, battery voltage, balloon data. You get the idea here. Literally, your imagination is the only limits as to what you can do with APRS telemetry. Today, I'm going to walk you through just a few very simple examples, and then I'll leave you a lot of reference material down in the description below. All right, so I want to give you guys two different examples today. The first one is a bit more practical, and the second one, well, it's just a bit more fun. What we're looking at on the screen here is the current position report of my APRS Digipeter. Notice right here in this green text, this is the comment that is being dynamically generated from Direwolf. So we can put all kinds of telemetry data in this section here. And I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how I got this data in mine. And then I want to give you some uh, reference material down in the description below where you can uh, take a look at that reference material and carry this quite a bit further. Literally, your imagination is the only limit here. The first thing we need to look at is the direwolf.comp file, and I am down under the fixed position uh, beaconing properties. And we want to take a look at my beacon right here. This is a comment that just tells me that that's my station beacon. And then we've got the P beacon command. Now, specifically, what we want to look for is this right here, this comment CMD or comment command. And this is telling Direwolf that every time you post this position report, I want you to run this command here. And that is tail space hyphen one. And then it tells the file that I want to uh, tail. So what that's going to do is that's going to grab the data out of this file here and use it as my comment on my position report. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that text file. I'm in my run user 1000 directory and the text file that we're looking for is this one right here, aprs-comment.txt. So let's just cat out that file and take a look at the contents. And what you'll see is the exact comment that we saw a minute ago when we were looking at APRS.FI. Now the uptime has changed since this one posted and it will update the next time the position report gets posted out to APRS. But this is, the, uh, this is where the data is being picked up and fed into Direwolf. Now let me show you how I got this data to populate into this file. What I did is I wrote a very simple script here, and we'll walk through this uh, one line at a time. So the first thing I'm doing is this CPU equals is a variable, and I am assigning to that variable this command here. And all this command does is it grabs the CPU data of my Raspberry Pi Digipeter. Now this next one I'll come back to in just a second. Much like the CPU, I'm also grabbing the uptime of the Digipeter itself. And that we're storing that data in the up variable. And you can see the command right here that is being run. So, so the uptime command will give us that data and then I'm just uh, formatting it exactly how I want it for the final text output. This other one here that I skipped over is power. And what that's doing is that's looking to see if my home station is on commercial power or battery backup. So for this particular variable here, it executes this command, which is actually another script. And we'll take a quick look at that script, which is basically just a stripped down version of my electric detect script that I did a video on a little while back. And I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. But basically, this is a very, very simple Python script. And it's just going to look and see uh, what the status is of GPIO pin 23. And it's either going to print commercial, if we have commercial power available, 
if there is no commercial power, it's just going to print battery. So this variable here, uh, PWR, will either read battery or commercial. Finally, we're using the echo command to get that data into the text file. So this right here, this PyDigi, is static. It will always read PyDigi. Then you see we're uh, echoing out CPU equals, and then we're calling that CPU variable that we defined right up here at the top. The same thing for power and for uptime. And we're sending that data to this APRS-comment.txt file. Now, the final piece of this puzzle is running this script automatically every so often. And we are doing that with a cron job. So let's jump over to here and let's run cron tab space hyphen E. We'll go ahead and press return. And you can see right here, I'm running that script every minute. That's probably a little bit excessive. I could probably run this every five or 10 minutes and it would be fine. But I am calling that APRS comment script that then grabs that information that we want and puts it into that text file, which in turn is picked up by Direwolf every time it posts a position report. And that's how we get this data right here to show up on APRS.fi. Now, that's a practical example, and we could do other things. If I wanted to monitor battery voltage, or maybe I wanted to monitor temperature sensors, or humidity sensors, barometric pressure sensors, whatever we want to monitor, we can do that on the Pi, and then have that data fed to this comment section on APRS.fi. Now let's take a look at a more fun example here. What I did is I created a text file on my desktop and these are literally quotes from Yoda. So I just filled in about 18 different ones. You could put whatever you wanted to here and then have that displayed randomly in your APRS comment. To make that happen, we would run a command like this, shuf space hyphen n space one space yoda.txt, which this is my file name right here. It resides on the desktop and I'm in the desktop directory, so we don't need to call the full path. But if I hit return right there, it will grab one of those lines of text and return it out to the screen. So if we do it again, we'll get a different one. Now I'm not sure all of these are short enough to actually fit in the APRS comments. I just wanted to give you a general idea of a fun little project you could do. Now we do need to get this data written out to a file and that is pretty easy to do. Let's take a look at CronTab in this particular case. And right up at the top, you will see that I have this comment update Yoda quotes. And what I'm doing is every 10 minutes, I am running the same command that you saw on the screen just a second ago, but I am including a full path name to that Yoda.txt file. So you gotta tell it exactly where it is if you're gonna run it from Crime. And then I'm taking the output of that file and I'm redirecting it with this command here into this particular file, which is uh, forward slash run, forward slash user, forward slash 1000, forward slash yoda.txt. So let's get out of this and let's jump over here and take a look at that uh, run directory. If we run the ls command, you will see right here we've got the yoda.txt file. If we cat that out, you will see the last quote that it grabbed. Now we could use that same comment cmd command to tail out this file and automatically update our comment with these Yoda quotes. So there's a couple of simple examples of how you can use APRS telemetry. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.